Hi everyone, John Stecker here from John Stecker Photography and today I wanted to talk about one of the new things I just added to my arsenal it is the Strobo Frame Pro RL. Let me show you why I got it. So this is my current, or was my current uh, Strobo Frame. Uh, I forgot the model number but it's out there. Um, worked very well for me for years, loved it. it, it, it we used it for wedding photography, event photography, portraits, all that stuff. But over the years, I've noticed an, an issue, especially if I put my battery pack on the bottom. Let me show you. When I twist it, there's very little gap here between the hot shoe and the frame hold, like that. In fact, I lose it, lose it to get all together if I've got the battery pack on. Now, heaven forbid, if I wanted to put something on here like a mini TTL from Pocket Wizard, and it'll fit in there, but I can't turn it. And of course, if I wanted to put an AC3 zone control, I can't even get it all the way in. I could take the battery pack off, but even then, it would still be a tight fit. So, I went out uh, online and I found Strobo Frames, a uh, newer version of this. Like I said, it's the Pro RL. So let's put the camera on and flash on here and see what happens. So now I've got my camera and my, uh, and my flash all in the strobe frame. And I've even added my Pocket Wizard TTL, TTI-1, excuse me, Pocket Wizard TTI-1 and the AC-3. And up here I've added the TT-5 um, on, uh, underneath my flash. And as you can see, when I turn it, no problem. Doesn't get anywhere near anything above it. Uh, I've got the flash up high. I can bring it down a little bit, but you can see no issues. It doesn't get anywhere near anything. I can put whatever I want on the uh, on the hot shoe. No problem. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the strobe frame itself and what I've noticed. I've got some very cool things to it. Um, the flash bracket can tilt. Let me show you how that works. There's uh, a release here. It allows you to tilt in various degrees to flash forward and back. One of the nice things about this is say you are shooting like this and you backed up to a wall and you want to bounce the light off the wall behind you, you don't have to crank the flash around to do that. And hit the button do that and now the flash is cranked back and much easier to hit it on the back wall. It's got a, a hole here if you're going to mount or connect the flash to the camera with some sort of cord. The flash itself can go from just above the lens barrel to, geez, I don't know, about a foot uh, above it. That's pretty cool, a uh, pretty big difference. The, um, as you can see, since it's a strobe frame, it pivots right on top of the same center line, so there's no issue about moving your flash back and forth. There is a lock on this model that wasn't on the last model, which is a definite improvement. When this is down, it won't pivot. On the old model, there's no such lock. So sometimes if I'm holding my camera by the side, if I'm just holding it like this, it would tweak a little bit over. Or if I'm holding it by the lens as I'm focusing, sometimes the flash bracket will start turning a little bit. This one it won't do that as long as I've got that lock on. It's uh, The biggest issue I found with this is it's, it wobbles. It's got a very high center of gravity because your flash is so high up here and the connection between the base and the flash arm well it's not the same as this, this one you can see this is the same piece of metal that this is actually mounted on so it wobbles a little bit I'm not sure if you can hear hear that um, so the center of gravity is so much higher on this one it wants to wobble on you and be very very careful when you're putting this down on a flat surface there is a fold-out here that gives you the extra bit of support 
when I first got it, I put it down that uh, support, the whole thing came crashing down. So be very careful with that. You also hold it differently. On this one, you actually held the side arm here in this nice foam cushion grip. This, you actually hold it with this piece in the front. It's again foam cushion, but it's a little different uh, to get used to. And also, if when you're focusing, you've you got to hold on to it and focus at the same time while you're holding your camera with your other hand. So that can take a little getting used to. But one thing I found out was very important was when it came here, you can see on the back plate here, I hope you can see that, there's six different screw holes. So the camera platform can be up and down by almost two, two inches. And when, it, when I got it, it was on the second highest. I dropped that all the way down to the bottom. It does two things. Number one, it drops the center of gravity down further so it's more stable. Number two, it brings the lens barrel closer to my left hand while I'm holding it. It used to be up here so it was harder if I wanted to zoom back and forth. So I recommend, unless there's a very important need for it, drop it down to its lowest level down here when you first get it. Uh, and it works much, much better that way. So again, biggest drawback is a high center of gravity. The other drawback is, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to hold it if I'm just resting. Uh, this is sort of easy to just you know, hold it like this on your side. This, the only way I can try to hold it is like this, to just lean it against my body. I definitely can't hold it out to its side. Not a good idea to hold it by the flash arm for any period of time because you can feel it tugging down and I don't want to break these screws off down here on the bottom. So not a good idea to hold it from here for any period. You can hold it here but then sort of leans over to the side. So this is definitely the right place to hold it but I can't find a way to relax. So this is the closest I can find. Anyway, the thing I really like about this again is I've got lots of space above the camera to turn the camera side by side, or so 90 degrees. Again, it's also got a lock. So if I am holding it just by the side of it, the whole thing's not going to spin on me as long as the lock's on. See if I can do a little experiment here. Turn the lock off. If I let go, yeah, the whole thing wants to just spin down. So lock is very important. Again, I like flash tilt. And the easy way to adjust it up and down. So I hope that helps. Have a great day.